It is uh, May 9th, 2010. I am in my Russian apartment. We just had Sunday meeting. The pictures behind me have some of the sister missionaries that were laboring here. And uh, I've been thinking about Roy Masters and uh, reading his uh, introduction to his theory of gravity. And while I have much respect for m much of Roy Masters' insights, uh, especially the destructiveness of programmed education on the, on the spirit of truth dwelling within the human mind, that there's something corrupted in the modern teaching <coughs> programming techniques. I was surprised to find that Roy Masters understood something about gravity, that it was a suction, um, pressure from without, vacuum from within. He understood something of this. Uh, I, my, my basic insight started 2002-2003. You can find that at my website. I derived in 2003 the inverse square law of gravity from first mechanical principles. Completely classical mechanics based on the reality of a fluid medium that was dismissed because of the Michelson-Morley interferometer experiment. The medium is uh, uh, called ether and in it uh, vortex rings form. Uh, the creation in matter is not making something out of nothing. It's the matter is eternal, infinite. But, uh, the density in infinite space is relatively uniform given the fluctuation with vortex formation. And I call the basic particle uh, vortex ring a vorton. And uh, from this, all stable particles are constructed. Uh, Roy Masters gets off on uh, Einstein a bit. Uh, Einstein has a basic confusion of which side of the force equation to put uh, the factor for uh, that makes it look like mass becomes infinite. It's a false concept and uh, that I'll deal with in another video. The purpose of this video is just to say that I do have a great deal of respect for many of the uh, insights of Roy Masters, particularly the healing from um, resentment and hatred, uh, to heal from the lower levels of natural degradation and how Jesus was uh, a door opener to repairing the damage done by the corruption of seduction and violation of our um, culture and our outlook and our sense of presence in our mind. Uh, very deep insights how to become unhypnotized is a personal process and Jesus has the keys to this as uh, God's firstborn bringing the spirit of truth and how to find that. But, so I want to say I have so much respect for Roy even though he seems preoccupied with the rear end sometimes and he says things that are just blatantly foolish or in other cases, he uh, can mixes two things together under <coughs> a label that needs um, more uh, detail and differentiation between parts. 
but many insights and his, as I say, his recognition of how education is corrupted, particularly university education, the social sciences are it's very hard to say the truth. Uh, like the, the uh, autism, if you look at the Romanian uh, orphans at the time they liberated Romania, and some 300 or so were taken to uh, uh, England, and a, a professor, I believe he's, uh, he has a sir title, maybe he's in the House of Lords, but his research clearly shows the autism, but he... <laughs> He has to make himself appear politically correct because of the women's uh, liberation power politics uh, along with uh, socialism that women can be free uh, from uh, the power of their husband or the power of men. Uh, uh, he has insights into these things. and. Uh, we're seeking the truth. But as far as finding the truth out about gravity, you can go to my website, thewaythetruthandthelife.net, go to the background, go to the cosmological model. You'll also find the repaired website of a professor uh, of mathematics from the University of Thailand. He died in 2004. I found his website with physics and mathematics partially completed I, uh, com uh, repaired and completed it and uh, posted it on my website it's there if you want to go dig into the mathematics deeper and uh, I hope you'll go there and you'll see the derivation from first principles of the inverse square law of gravity thank you